Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. Quite excited because I've got not one but two brand new Q Plush toys to unbox. Um, I'm going to be doing um, one in the first video and I'll make a separate video for the second one. They are Yukiho Hagiwara and uh, Kirino Kosaka, they're from the Idol Master, and Ore no Imoto ga konna ni kawaii wake ga nai, which is, um, like, there's no way my sister could be this cute. If you don't know what Q Posh is, um, this is what I've got. I've got one right here. This is Sayaka, and uh, you'll probably be quite familiar with her if you're following Nihongo Gamer on uh, Instagram. I use her for taking just funny, you know, neat little pictures wherever I go traveling uh, in Japan. And what's um, really good about them is that they're extremely poseable. They've got knee joints, they've got leg joints, they've got heel joints, they've got magnets on her feet! You can actually take these hands off, like so, ow! Change them for different hands, hands that hold things, that hands that have peace signs. Uh, you know, you can even change the expressions by taking the um, fronts off like this, or the backs even, and you can put entire different heads on there. So to kind of expand the roster, as it were, and kind of increase the variety of pictures that I can take. Like, wow! Beheaded! Oh my god, sorry! So you do have to be careful, um, parts all do fall apart fairly easily, but um, they're strong enough. These ones were quite interesting because they can, um, because they came with quite a nice assortment of faces, and I think the expressions are some of the best part of Kuposh toys. Let's start with the Idol Master one, Yukiho Hagiwara, and let's go ahead and unbox her. So I'm just gonna put Kirio uh, over there for a moment. It says Kuposh here on the front of the box, and uh, you can see, you know, this is <laughs> this is what she looks like when she's still inside the packaging. Her name there, Yukiho uh, Hagiwara. She's number 11 in the set. This is what the side of the box looks like. And on the back, you can see she comes with a large range of really random stuff. She's got, um, she's got, uh, you know, she's an idol, of course, so she's got a microphone stand, but I don't really know what the shovel is for. It's by Kotobukiya, which is a shop in Akihabara as well. They're really, really famous for um, high quality models. Let's go ahead and get her out of the box now. Let's uh, just pull this tape off. Um, hang on a minute. I need something sharp. Aha! Bus pass! I didn't think that was going to work. I just uh, opened a box with my bus pass. There's a there's a first for everything. So let's open up the box and have a look inside. This is the front of what you would see if you opened it. And just slide it out like so. There we go, nothing else inside the box there. This is the microphone, I'll show you that in a moment. So this is the inside- Whoa! It's all dropping out. There's lots of different pieces, but essentially the one you want to see the most is this one. So that is Yukiho um, Hagiwara, I believe her name is. And uh, let's go ahead and take her out of the plastic. Da -da -da -da. So there you have it. That is Yukiho. She looks pretty good. She's, she's actually posed already uh, when she was sitting inside the box, but that is the character. I'll try and hold it so that you can actually see as much of it as possible without my hands getting in the way, but there you have it. All right, looks really, really nice. Really, really nice, and of course, super ultra posable. In fact, because this is a brand new one, um, it's 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 legit. The st the stiffs, the joints are still pretty stiff, which is really really good for posing. I've I've noticed on Sayaka that the joints have come a little bit loose, but you know, not not critically loose. So just to demonstrate, you can actually pull the hands off. It doesn't look like you can um, on this one, but you can just pull the hands off like that. If you take the top part off, she comes apart like so, and then you actually just uh, slide different heads on like there. Quite a cool idol style uh, dress. If you're a fan of AKB48 or know anything about it, <laughs> it's that kind of fashion basically. Just show you the faces as well. There's one here. This is the slightly bewildered face. If I just take it out, you can have a good look at that. In fact, I might be able to get you even closer. About there, right. So <laughs> that's the sort of bewildered looking face. Again, only the front part, you don't need the back part. The back part is just the is just the hair. This is the, uh, is this the happy face or sad face or... I don't know how you would describe this. It's kind of like tears of joy, I suppose. So, so this is like the joyous face, I guess, and the slightly bewildered face. All right, so we've got the joy face here. Let's just put the um, back of the hair on like so and put the front of the hair on like this. And then if we attach it to the character, she should look pretty good. 
All right, uh, I don't really know how useful this one is going to be. I tend to choose one that I think is kind of the most useful and then I, I don't really bring the face plates out with me that often. I usually just have the figure in one configuration or another. All right, and now for the bewildered face. So I'll just put the uh, back part on like so and put the front on like this. <laughs> this is going to be really good. I'm quite excited about this. Uh, get the neck on. Nice and tight, which is good. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Have a look at that. She's like, yeah, uh, I have no idea what's going on. What's going on? Key, panic, panic. Now I've actually just noticed, and this was kind of purely by accident, I actually was pulling her apart and uh, her ha she comes off in two halves like this. Um, and I think <laughs> the reason is just so that you can take the skirt off. So if you don't even need the skirt, if you want to have her, I mean, and in fact, it doesn't really work because there's a gap here in the middle, but I, I don't know if maybe there's like an accessory that you can change or if you can put a different kind of skirt on here. I haven't seen anything like that. All right, I was finding unboxing uh, in front of the camera a little bit frustrating, so I'm just saying going back to the sort of table hands down system. Anyway, let's have a look at what you get inside the bag. You get um, an assortment of hands. You get hands that are open up, hands with um, single fingers pointing out. These are hands that can hold objects. Looks like you get what on earth could this be? Um, a drill bit. I'm not sure how to use that. Um, a cup of tea. All right, this is pretty cool. It's a teeny tiny little Shure M758. That's cool. All right, have a look at that. Just sit this next to you so you could have a little thing. A uh, shovel. And last but not least, the hat. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what this is a logo for. Oh, it's the. Uh, it's just her name, I think. She's just got her name on the side of this hat. Isn't that adorable? Now, if you push quite, uh, if you push a little harder, it does actually stay on, uh, which is nice. It doesn't fall off or anything. I've got her with the drill bit. It's like she's come straight out of a, a Rockman game or something, which is quite funny. Especially with this hat, she looks like one of those enemies from Rockman. So that is all for the unboxing for the Yukiho Hagiwara Q-Posh. I'm a little bit concerned about the bottom and the top halves coming apart too easily. That's a little bit of a problem. Hopefully a little bit of glue will solve that. I love the accessories. I think the drill bit is weird, but, but actually quite cute for some reason. <laughs> love this microphone stand. Obviously I'm a big fan of music. Um, the hat is perfect. I will be using that on all of them. Hopefully I can use it on um, the other Q-Posh as well. Uh, these facial expressions are gold. Obviously it's a shame that you can't um, exchange them with other characters because obviously it's a little bit obvious that their eyes are completely different. But you know, um, I think shape-wise they should fit. Anyway, that's all for now. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, share the links and all that stuff. And I will see you in the next Nihongo Gamer video where I will probably unbox the Kirino Q-Posh. She's got magnets on her feet. First new Nintendo 3DS game. Final Fantasy XV! Ah! Someone pick up the phone! How about you, Cloud? It's shopping time! So I let her go in front of me, and she ran into the shop and she took the only copy of this. And I thought, no! Here it comes! Oh! It's like the anime, but better! It doesn't say what this is. It just, it just, it's just a piece of plastic. I, I really think, I think, I think maybe it, it is a frisbee.